Okay, so today we are gonna talk about the about the evidence of bona fide marriage. So this one is gonna be needed when you file for to remove the condition on your two-year green card. So this is this puzzled a lot of people. Well, this puzzled me because you know how am I gonna prove that me and Claude have real or bona fide marriage? Bona fide means that we're gonna be together for we're looking forward to being together for a long long time so what are the evidence you can submit to the USCIS when it comes to that so number one on that is a copy or a document that in your insurance or life insurance your husband or wife is on that name so what we did is Claude has his and I have mine from my work so we submitted we had a photocopy of those documents and then submitted that to the USCIS but we only have the photocopies so the original is at work so you can get those at your workplace and then number two is about your finances both of your finances that an evidence that you guys have a joint account together or joint savings or checking account you can get those at your bank so they will give you as long as you know on your on your account there it will say both of you and your husband's name so that one is evidence that you have a bank account number three is the joint occupancy you know, like on your mortgage, it will be you and your husband. It's like a, a contract or something for renting an apartment. Or if it's a house, a document that's saying it's owned by you and your husband. So basically things that has both name on you and your husband's in there. So in our case, um, I'm not on my husband's lease on his apartment, so we weren't able to submit on that document because it's only his, the apartment. So I wasn't on the lease, so we didn't submit that documents. Number four is health insurance. So these documents, you can get this at your workplace, at the HR. So when you get into the job, you fill up an insurance thing, right? Like a document that you submit to the insurance. And then they keep a copy on that at, their, at the HR. And then those you can have photocopy of and then just file it in the documents that you're going to submit to the US, USCIS as an evidence that you have a bona fide marriage so in our case my husband is in my insurance so he's kind of he's kind of my beneficiary in my insurance um, as a spouse so it's like to prove that you and your husband is gonna be together for a long time number five is loan or credit card statement account so you can just put it on your paperwork there that you're gonna submit to the USCIS all together and number six is the birth certificate if you and your husband have already have kids you can put the birth certificate of your kids in there so in our case we don't have kids so i wasn't able to submit that kind of document so you just submit the things that is you know applicable to you these are just the choices you can do to prove that you have a bona fide marriage with your husband number seven here is your social media accounts so in our case, me and Claude had a YouTube channel, have a YouTube channel. So I did screenshot the profile on our YouTube channel. Well, I'll just show you on this one here. 
So this is how it looks like. I just screenshot it and photocopy it. And I also had a screenshot on my Facebook because my profile is me and Claude. So I just screenshot it also and then print it and then just pile it with the documents that I have. So those are the documents you can get to prove that you and your husband has bona fide marriage. So the USCIS do this because why do you think this this kind of documents is needed? Well, to prove that you just didn't come here get married to become a to get your green card and then leave. Yeah, and scams. Yeah. In short, the USCIS need those documents to avoid scams because that happens in here so if the USCIS see that you and your husband is you know planning to have together planning to have your life together with your husband for a long long time then that's when they approve your green card or else if you didn't prove that much you know you're gonna go and have an interview so they're going to invite you if you have not submitted that much evidence that you and your husband have bona fide marriage, which is going to just take the process longer. Our process of me having to remove the condition of my residence here is it took me 13 months for me to get my green card. But then on those process, I didn't have to go through interview or I didn't have to go through biometrics because they already used my biometrics from my two-year green card. So I didn't have to go to Milwaukee just to have my biometrics done, which saves time on the process. Anyway, that is all guys. I hope this is helpful. And if you have questions, just comment down below. I'm gonna put the link on the USCIS too to look the process because it's all there. It's all there guys. All you need to do is go to their website. I will see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe on our channel to see more of our videos.